I'm going to pull some cards for each zodiac sign and then I'll turn the camera on and say hi for a minute. Um, I just felt like pulling some cards. I also just got the White Witch Oracle. It's just this little mini deck and it's really cute and I wanted to pull one for each sign too. Um, I'm going to update my blog, starsandspoons.com, with some info about the astrology going on for the rest of May, and we'll talk about the full moon coming up and all of that. Um, for now, I just wanted to pull some cards. Just a little after moon check-in. We just had that new moon, and the sun is in Taurus. I don't know about all of you, but all I want to do is take a nap. <laughs> um, so I will talk more about astrology on the blog, and I'll probably put up some more in-depth YouTube videos coming up. Um, just going to pull some cards for each sign. I always like to start with the sign that the sun is in. So we'll start with Taurus, and we will go from there. Um, I will, I can't see the comments right now, but I will check them in a few minutes after I do all these. Ay, 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 okay. Um, so I'm just asking about this next moon phase, the moon phase that we're in right now. Let's ask, where, where are you at right now, Taurus? I got King of Pentacles. That's a pretty nice place to be at. <laughs> For Taurus especially. Sort of having all your shit together, especially when it comes to all the earthy things. Money, home, family, material stuff. So that's a nice place to be at. I also feel like this is your time, you know, when the sun is in your sign, it's kind of your time, time to shine. So shine on little Tauruses while the rest of us are taking naps. Okay, let's see what we got. So we're going to also just ask, what um is some advice for this phase that we're going through and take a little look at what kind of energy you're dealing with with this new moon phase Ooh, one card at a time please with a hermit i feel like uh, a lot of the earth signs are comfortable in this space the hermit so a good time for searching for answers, not necessarily being a hermit in the sense of staying in the house, but definitely an introspective time and a time of looking for answers, seeking knowledge. So a really good time to be in nature, get out in some nature depending where you are in the world. Hopefully the weather is nice or getting nicer. And, um, I don't know. I'll just let's see what else is coming up. So let's see what's coming up in the coming weeks for you. As we're moving into this beautiful, have you looked outside? Check outside tonight because the moon is just beautiful. I love the crescent moon phase. It's my favorite. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, okay. We're going to pull the top and the bottom from that. All right. I'll, like, mull that over for a second. Eight of Pentacles and the Lovers. A lot of things, a lot of pots on the stove, a lot of things cooking. I'm definitely in a successful time right now. 
All right, and I just want to ask what is um, a final piece of advice for where we're going with this moon phase, what we're trying to create. Interesting, because I'm pulling the top and bottom from that. <laughs> That's the Three of Swords. And the Sun. <laughs> so that's interesting. All right. So what we've got here. We've got the Eight of Pentacles and the Lovers. Let's break those down. Eight of Pentacles is your advice. You're seeing some success. Things are going really well in the earthy side of life, uh, job, career, money, um, home life. Things are going pretty well and moving in a good direction. And I think with the eights, the message is always um, to keep keep putting in that work, keep putting in the effort. We've got the lovers, which can definitely be a sort of soulmate card, but it can also, it's also about partnerships of all kinds. It can often be about a decision. And with this two of swords coming up with it, I think there's definitely some kind of decisions going on. And with that eight of pentacles, you know, this is how they kind of came out. With that Eight of Pentacles there, um, I feel like this is almost like a, a, a decision regarding either your home or your career or financial decision, something of that nature, something of the Pentacles nature. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull one of these White Witch Oracle cards for that decision just to give you some guidance and see this is my first time pulling with this deck Taurus happy birthday Taurus I love you all I love my little earth signs so much Taurus Virgo mm. oh <laughs> reconsider so I don't know but I, that could tie in with the hermit, you know. That could definitely tie in with that hermit. Take time to really consider and look at all of, all of the information. So when I asked about what we're looking what we're looking at, the energy of this whole cycle and outcome, um for this lunar cycle. The first one that we got was the three of swords. So, um, I, I would say that, um, <laughs> I, the swords are sort of, to me, these are, this is the realm of your intellect and your thought processes and um honestly just taking some time to to yourself to think things through um without isolating and write maybe even writing out your thoughts is a good idea there there might be like a little rough patch it definitely seems like there's some change coming either with your living situation or with um with your job so maybe even both so with that there's always some turbulence i feel like that three of swords is some turbulence because then i've also got the king of cups and the sun as sort of the outcome of all of this which feels like you know being in a really good solid place emotionally and um just coming into a joyful period a happy period of time so I think this is a good cycle, not without its rough patches here and there, but definitely a good cycle 
for moving forward into some happiness and into some emotional stability. I think that's really good. All right, let's move on to Gemini. Gemini and Gemini rising. After moon thoughts, what is the energy that you're in right now? What is the energy that you're moving into with this cycle? What are we working on? And what is our outcome for this cycle? And I will just say, I don't really do uh, fortune telling or future reading. So when I say outcome, these are just possibilities and things to think about. You know, I think we can change our timeline pretty much at any point with the decisions we make with our free will so whenever I say outcome I'm not necessarily saying this is how it's going to turn out I'm saying this is some energy that you're working with and this is a possibility so you know all right Gemini we got a new beginning a leap of faith And some action, some forward action. Shifts and thoughts. So what we have so far, I got the fool. So this is definitely, this new moon was a new beginning for you. And um, the fool is often to me like taking that leap into a new beginning um onto an into a new journey on a new adventure however big or small that might be and we've got the nine of pentacles which i i tend to think if you look at the card you know it's sort of a, a nice place to be it's like you put in all this work you've done a lot and now you can enjoy some of that. I mean, she is living her best life right there, you know? So enjoying some of that. And also, I'm just getting the feeling of, like, take some time out from all the drama, whatever kind of drama that might be, and take care of yourself, indulge a little bit, um... This is a good time for that. I mean, Sun and Taurus is all about self-care, um, getting rest that you need, uh, reflecting on things. Um, it's a good time for that. So, And then we've got the Knight of Swords, who is moving forward, especially in his thoughts. So... Um, so that's interesting. This new moon is a shift in thought. It's forward motion of some kind. We're moving forward. Things, If things have been slow or stagnant, I see that kind of starting to move. Oh, okay, yep, the magician. So uh, anytime you look at a traditional deck, this is, by the way, the Everyday Witch Tarot. Anytime you look at a traditional deck, um, you'll see that the magician has something from each of the suits in the tarot. The magician will have a coin, a wand, a sword, and a cup, usually. And um, part of the message here is to look around and notice that you actually do have everything you need to um, get what you want right now, what, whatever that might be. So, um, and with that Knight of Swords, I'm thinking maybe, um, more balanced thought processes, um, more peace of mind comes to mind for me, but also you've got the magician energy with you. So think about what you want to create what, for yourself, what you want to make, and look at the tools that you have. 
You might have more than you realize right there. Okay. Look at that. We got the King of Cups again. I just pulled that for Taurus. So that's interesting. And the Two of Cups. So definitely opportunity for new love, for partnership, for some good time with the partnership you're in. With that King of Cups, um, looking at water signs might be really enjoyable to hang out with right now for you. Um, that's really nice, the Two of Cups. Possibly a new relationship or a really nice time in the relationship you're in. And what we're looking forward to... All right, so we've got the Four of Swords. So towards the end of this moon... Uh, cycle when we're getting closer to the full moon you're gonna need to up the self-care the rest and recuperation I mean you've got this magician energy here so there's a lot of creating a lot of doing a lot of sparks flying so just take this time at towards the end of the moon phase to get some rest and recuperation and then for your outcome, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So a new beginning, especially uh, in the area of career, money, uh, financial opportunity, health, um, all of that good stuff. So that's looking really good. This moon phase is looking good for you, Gemini. Go ahead. Keep that Ace of Pentacles in mind and remember that this is crucial, all right? Getting that recuperation and rest and self-care so that you're ready for that Ace of Pentacles, okay? All right, we are going to now pull for Cancer and Cancer Rising. Hello, my fellow crabs. I'm a Cancer Sun, so, you know, I have a soft spot for the, for the crabs, of course, um, how are you all doing, my Cancers, I'm gonna check the comments in a little bit, uh, let's see, so, we're pulling our after moon report, checking in, what's the energy for as cancers right now, what are we working on with this moon phase? What are we bringing in? And what's our outcome for this cycle? Oh, settle down. Let me give it a good shuffle. I don't know if you can see. Oh, I feel like a card got flipped around there somewhere. That keeps happening to me where I think I see one flipped over, but it's not. <laughs> it's weird. So if you missed my little beginning spiel, I will be putting more about the astrology going on right now for the rest of May on my blog in a little while, in a couple of days. And I'll probably put out some more um, in-depth YouTube videos. I just felt like pulling some cards today and um, checking in. I like to check in after the moon. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but the gravitational pull of the moon is strongest at the new moon and the full moon. And... I'm curious if you're a spoony like me and you have inflammation, any kind of inflammatory issues. Do you notice that during the new and full moon you get more inflamed and flared up? Because I sure do. Which is why I like to do after moon reports. <laughs> I like to check in after. All right. Okay, Cancer, here we go. Let's pull some cards. I think that feels good. Wow. 
Wow, okay, King of Pentacles. I feel like I just pulled that for Taurus. That's the energy we're in right now. Also, the Eight of Pentacles came up just recently. That's pretty wild. I just shuffled the crap out of these. Three of Cups. All right. Wow, this is looking really nice, Cancer. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> Self-care. Alright. Okay, Cancer, let's take a look at these cards here. Um we've starting with the energy of the King of Pentacles. So definitely getting everything together and in order with our home, our family life, our finances, um feeling on top of all that right now um we're getting there that's like the energy we're in right now if you're not there yet this is still the energy with you right now so we're getting there you know we've also got that eight of pentacles a lot of um success energy and also just that we have a lot of um different things cooking and a lot of opportunities in front of us. Three of Cups. Really good time for getting together with our people. Celebrating. Um, spending quality time with friends and family. We've got the Page of Wands. Pages are often about messages. This came out with the Seven of Pentacles. Um... The page of wands is often, um, pages are usually bringing information, messages. The page of wands is sort of that fiery, creative energy. So looking at, um, you know, changes coming in this area of life. Um, if you have been feeling a little stagnant with your creative endeavors. Uh, keep your eyes and ears open for opportunities there. And we've got the Seven of Pentacles. So a lot of choices, Cancers. We have a lot of choices available. A lot of opportunities. And it's almost... Um, it can be overwhelming. So don't neglect to make a choice at all. Just because there are too many. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from that. I also got the Four of Swords reversed. So a little concerned there about um, actually taking that time to rest and be with yourself. Um, yes, we have this three of of cups energy we've got a lot of good energy here a lot of creative fire a lot of motion um a lot of pretty my you know we're, we've got some badassery going on but if we don't rest if we don't chill and take that time that quiet time that rest time that self-care time um We've got some, you know, turbulence. Like, it puts us in that kind of energy. The Seven of Wands. Not my favorite energy. It's like when you're in this defensive position, possibly even feeling attacked. So, I would say with these two together, uh, what I would say to my little crabbies is when you are feeling in this current moon cycle when you're feeling attacked or like super defensive do a little check-in am I tired am I just tired do I need to rest am I just over taxed and overdid it and I'm not you know because 
I feel like with the two of those together and with the three of pentacles, which came in reversed, by the way, I feel like this is all from being tired and not taking proper care of ourselves with that four of swords reversed. Okay, so to prevent that, uh, you know, make sure you take some time. For yourself and for your self-care and for sleep and rest and I think we can avoid this and also do some check-ins with yourself am I just tired and grumpy and feeling like everything everyone's out to get me because that let's be real that's a cancer thing sometimes we get in our feelings and we feel attacked when really we're just not taking care of ourselves and we're tired and we need the nurturing that we're constantly putting out. Outcome, I got the Wheel of Fortune. I think that's interesting. Um, I think the, I'm going to pull another card with that to get the energy of that. But with the Wheel of Fortune, um, the... Things are changing. The wheel is turning. And wherever you're at on the wheel, you know, wherever you're at on that wheel, um, get ready for it to change. So if you've been at the bottom of that wheel in the kind of murky territory, it's coming, coming around. It's turning. Um, if you've been riding high and on top for a while... There could be, um, you know, things might shift to a more introspective time. But I feel like a lot of us cancers have been kind of in the murky waters lately. Put a tag on my Instagram. I'll take a picture and put a tag later. You're going in the right direction. All right. Leo and Leo rising. Let me go ahead and actually take a break for a second and check if there are any comments or anything. Hi, everyone. Hi, Jessica. The Dagian. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Hi, Britain. Hi, Fallon. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Jen. <laughs> I don't know if y'all are still here, but um, here we go for Leo and Leo Rising. Leo and Leo rising for this moon cycle, for the rest of this moon cycle. What energy are you in? What are you working with this month? And what is your outcome? Trying to give it a really good shuffle in between each sign because I seem to be pulling a lot of the same cards, but I'm shuffling a lot, so <laughs> I don't know. That seems to happen a lot. I think a lot of times we're all dealing with similar energies, so... Actually, maybe I'll go ahead and break this up and start a new one so it's a little easier. Maybe every three signs I'll do that. That way it's easier for people to check their sign. 